Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saiken and uh, we are continuing the adventures of Sparklight, our um, rigger who is running the Shadows of Hong Kong. We're playing on hard difficulty and got ourselves uh, quite a, a bit of cyberware already as well as kind of a solid set of uh, equipment. Currently we're trying to upgrade quickness to get dodge and uh, quickness up uh, to uh, level 5 and then maybe get new cyber legs and uh, afterwards we are getting a really nice pair of drones. In order to do that as always we need money so uh, let's head to the RS facility and I dive right into the conflict that exists uh, there none of the new none of the other runners see that's one thing that is um, unfortunate because I was really hoping uh, that uh, that we could from time to time use other runners but that's not the case um, one thing that is helpful is if you if you just click through them you will oops you will see their equipment so currently everyone's wearing an armor 5 reinforced um, armor um, which tells you that that is the standard uh, which uh, the game is trying to uh, balance uh, the enemies against we still have uh, not not nearly that outfit our standard runners have a, a slightly uh, bit less in some of the cases now similar gear but less items. Anyways, we're not spending money on any runners, so we're using our standard team, like we did before. Gotta take, uh, gotta save those new yen uh, for a later opportunity. We need more cyberware, and our drones are also going to be pretty expensive. So let's dive into the action. Good. We are going to visit the central office of Aris here, which as you can imagine is uh, well defended. Uh, for those of you, of you who are not familiar with the Shadowrun world, uh, several mega corporations are essentially ruling the world in 2050-2070, Aris being one of them as a weapon producer, one of the big eight um, or big nine mega corporations. And we will probably get into trouble, to be honest, because we have a ghoul uh, with us. Uh, I've been there, and this guy here is most likely going to uh, to freak out. Um, we don't have it etiquette uh, security. And there we go. No chance of, um, of getting out of here. Well, might as well fight our way in. That's not really the stealthy approach, but so be it. Hasting Sparklight. Sparklight is going to go into control mode. And we should position ourselves over here. There's already the first Knight Errant Guard. Yeah, might as well want to position ourselves down here. Isabel takes cover. And I think we can just overwatch with her. Out of line of sight for the drone. Hmm. Could we? Hmm. 
Maybe put the drone over here and then take a shot. It seems as if those windows are not see-through. Yeah. Good. So the enemies are going to slowly but surely move into our direction. And there are going to be a lot of enemies. All right, Isabel gets an accuracy buff. And I think it's a perfect timing for <laughs> a grenade. Unfortunately, we killed this bystander. That's indeed very lamentable. Good. Now let us use Kaishu here. Damn, that didn't work out as expected. Moving back out. We are hitting them quite well. Uh, what is our sniper drone? saying oh perfect 70 uh, 74 percent damn that could have been a kill all right can't see any of uh, these guys moving over here uh, to at least take some shots yeah All right, and Knight Aaron is uh, is not not applying the most cl uh, clever tactic, uh, just charging in like madman. All right, full auto. Onto the security guard. There we go. That's one down. Second one highly injured. Before we use our sniper drone, well, let's maybe start buffing its accuracy. There we go. And we can also heal someone. Wound 5, wound 5. Yeah, might want to heal Gaichu. All right, another grenade. Very nice. That takes care of a lot of these guys. Yeah. We do have a pretty devastating damage output compared to my first playthrough, which was more like control mage-ish. Um, this here is a nasty damage output. I mean, they are just falling like flies. That was not clever. Yeah, let's give Gaishu another haste. There we go.
Good. We just killed all of the knight errant. Security officers. That's one way of getting entrance to a building. Oh, simply kill everyone. And to be honest, that was a ridiculous fight. So we can send one of the drones in. Good, that cuts uh, the power to the elevator. I couldn't do that the last time because I didn't have any drones. Well, that's a cool feature. So the replayability um, is certainly enhanced by like having different characters do different things. And since you don't have enough karma to upgrade uh, to uh, to upgrade each category, You actually need to specialize on some aspects. Good. We'll get a lot of information about our target. And we're now going to go through each of the rooms individually. Yeah, we don't want to go upstairs yet. How about continuing to search through all of the rooms? Okay, we'll take this one in a second. I think there was some loot over here. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this was one of the bigger matrix systems and Isabel could really gain some loot by, uh, by hacking it. Good. Um, yeah, two, it's a 200 um, IP core. That's pretty damn big system. Let's try to kill the ice. Perfect. The more we can kill right away, the better it is. It worked uh, incredibly well. Isabel heals the shield program, buffs herself. And let's kill uh, the ice. Problem is that the other guy, uh, the other ice, is in heavy cover. So well, that makes it very difficult to hit it. Moon up with Isobel. There we go, that's one hit. Potential miss. Good. 
Perfect. Good, we can force our way through it. So far, we're still good on the core. Like I said, this here is a larger system. Ah, that was unnecessary. I was just about to say this is a larger system. As long as we don't mess up, we should we should be generally fine. Good, forcing our way through this one as well. Can't continue to do that forever. And I am playing sloppy. That was again unnecessary. Killed the water eyes, uh, but we're at 165. <clears throat> yeah, I I remember it was a pretty large core. And I do not want to trigger the security here because uh, that would be nasty. question is do we need to do the gas uh, gas walls yet we probably don't later in uh, in the upstairs fight the gas valves are becoming a thing you know what we might as well do it yet uh, now that gives us an edge later in in the battle uh, I typed too fast. Good, that worked out pretty well. And we got our gas valve shut down. That's nothing that's uh, going to immediately help us, but it's going to help us in a longer term. So let's get the second let's clear the second valve as well and hopefully we're not going to run into a lot of the watcher ices. Can't force our way through it. Gotta play the game again.
Let's select the right one. There we go. Got both of the gas control. That's not bad. There is more to this room though. And we ran into a ne next uh, watcher I see. It's getting more dangerous now. We can't afford to continue doing that. Matter of fact, the next time that we're going to do that. We are overloading the core. And that, that will mean the alarm is officially off. All right, gas wealth number three. So bad. Oh gosh, I'm bad. Good, we got all three gas valves. But there's more in this computer mainframe. We will come back to the gas valves just a tiny bit later. For now we gotta be careful. Oh, I think we're, we've just triggered the alarm. System trace will be enough to overload the system. Uh, almost. Yeah, we're not going to kill both of them in one turn. Might as well start summoning both of the programs because we're going to need it. And very soon hell is going to break loose here. Oh, lucky us. I mean... Just barely killed both of them. And that's GG. Okay, so we're definitely in for a fight. Holy shit, okay. So there is our black IC, destroyer IC, that I mentioned beforehand. Firing up all of the programs. Giving our persona a bit of a shield. 
And it seems that there is a different hacker as well. Yep, security decker. Well, that is just wonderful, isn't it? You usually don't want to mess with the security. Yep, you don't want to mess with them. The other decker is just way better equipped. Well, I might be uh, forced to just exit here. Yep. We'll come back eventually. That was too bad because there were a couple of um, additional documents that we could have uh, needed. But we're going to get them. Just need Isabel to hack back in. Can she? Hack uh, back uh, in right away, or is that going to not work in her favor? It depends if we're directly fighting against. Uh, we're directly in combat right away. That in itself is not a problem. It depends against what we are fighting. The other decker alone would be an even match but not against the decker and all of uh, the ice on top of it. So let's see if we can still get the documents. I hope this is not too much of a thick-headed play. But if I remember uh, correct, uh, there were quite a, a few good documents in uh, in the mainframe, exactly in the room that we were just looking for. The gas, uh, gas valves were also important because uh, they are needed later in the mission. Well, let's see if we can hit the security decker. We clearly can't. Nice little shot. Almost got her down. Now, there is an advantage of just being blocked in. The problem is uh, the security decker yep, had, an, uh, had an AOE attack. Isabel begins to fire up her defense. Our assassin program just died, but we took out the security decker, which is great. Let's try to hit the ice as, uh, the IC as much as possible. Almost got the destroyer down. Yeah, this is black eyes. You can now see a lot of host damage. Unfortunately, we can't switch to um, to our host at the moment. Normally, it is it is relatively easily avoidable um, the host damage by simply putting kind of someone who can heal next to her, and that'll take care of the host damage because all of a sudden Isabel would have a dedicated healer. Oh 
All right. I still think that there is more ice in uh, the next room. So what we can do is shortly and securely lock out so that we don't need to pull the plug and regain our programs. Fortunately, we can't get into combat mode, so I can't really heal uh, Isabel. I don't know how injured she is. That's a bit of a, a bummer here. Okay, Isabel is checking in once again. And at least we're not in combat, so that's a good sign. Yeah, there is more ice. Can we get into combat? No, we can't. Well, we could always position ourselves over here. That's good. So we're in cover. And we can deal with uh, that amount of ice. Loaded our programs. Uh, let's uh, increase the accuracy of our assassin program. Damn, that needed to hit. Shielding Isabel. And this here is white eyes, so it, dam it does not damage the host. That's good. Unfortunately, our assassin program just died. That's lamentable. Positioning ourselves in cover. We still got to clear the host here, but that is possible. We just need to be a bit patient. There we go. That's one down. Increasing the accuracy of our Guardian program. And there we go. Uh, the patience has paid off. And we got access to the RS data uh, files. And they were quite valuable if I'm if I'm remembering correct like 500 to 1,000 million ish. And since I already mentioned, resources are very, very sparse. Got to make sure that we're taking whatever we can. So we have been in the pu public terminal. We've Going through all of these rooms. And that brings us to the upper area. Where, of course, things are not uh, becoming any better. We now need to get access to the main lab. And as you can appreciate, the alarm has already sounded, which means all of this here, it's just going to be so much worse. Enemy mage. Oh, look at that. Isabel was indeed quite injured. Healing her. Increasing the to hit of Daichu. And we're firing up the drones. as well as our reflex triggers. So can we hit these guys? No, we can't.
but we can position ourselves further back increasing our armor and let's already move a bit closer damn it All right, Isabel is going to move into cover. Can we hit any of these guys? No, we can't. We cannot uh, shoot in there. But we can heal ourselves to full hit points. Let's see what the enemy is going to do. Opening the door means it is on. We have no line of sight whatsoever. Ah, that is unfortunate to say the least. I would say let them come. Yeah, at least the Doberman has some sort of uh, line of sight. And we can use another item that we haven't used so far. Which in my opinion is uh, actually quite useful. Uh, the um, proxy grenades. We took Overwatch shots. Overwatch um, is uh, you you can Overwatch with kind of special shots like full auto, for instance. And unfortunately, that grenade was too far away from Sparklight, otherwise he could have uh, just thrown it back. Yeah, we don't want to use our uh, med kit yet. Instead, let's take the shots onto the enemies that are in open cover. There we go. 15, nice flank. That was good. Making the drone more accurate. And let's position ourselves in full cover over here. Our sniper drone continues to harass this guy. Very nice shots. And let's aggressively go in and finish him. There we go. Monad Eren is on their way. Good, we can heal ourselves to a degree. Only the last wound can be healed, so she's still somewhat under pressure. Isabel here needs to reload her grenade launcher. And can we hit anyone? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Might as well start with that adapt. We're full autoing into him. Our sniper drone 
6k of the long range shots and our Doberman well we still got we still got another turn left the Doberman was um, the Doberman still has one action so our drones take some damage that's unfortunate everyone takes some damage now because we're just fighting against a lot of enemies using our wide reflexes to dodge the next attack and our sniper drone needs to reload the good part about the drones is they tend to be able to heal themselves at least to a degree Good, that's one down. And we're fighting one-on-one -on -one against the Adept. Um, who should take uh, the haste? Hmm, difficult. I think we're giving it to Gaishu. All right, Isabel moves over and heals up our shaman. And let's try to finish the guard. Yep, that worked like a charm. Good. Full auto on onto the guard. This knight errant enforcer is pretty damn tanky. Giving an aim bonus to the sniper again. I think it's a good moment in time to heal uh, the sniper drone. Yeah, and this guy has a lot of defense, even if not staying in cover. Kierdeps are pretty strong. I was considering for this run to play a Kierdep. Decided against it, but he basically keeps up the quote-unquote light cover which allows him to continuously be in light cover gotta heal ourselves and gotta deal with the rest here there we go yeah our Doberman definitely will take cover can't afford him to be flanked. Okay, next up, let's move Isabel over here. It's probably still a flanking position, which is bad. But it's difficult to reach this guy. Damn it. He's annoying with his shotgun. There we go. Backup will arrive soon and I mean, we do have, we've taken quite a few um, injuries. Good, time for us to, uh, to check for uh, uh, what we've originally came here for, which is um, a drone uh, program.
And we're not even done with fighting yet. Good, we've uploaded our camera footage. We probably need the check uh, point in the matrix here uh, once the fights uh, start again. Uh, this here is only the elevator, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Wait, I don't remember that system. Oh, I do. Uh, this is basically... This here is just uh, the other side where the gas wells have been. Uh, remember how I told you it's going to be important later. This is exactly where Isabel is going to check in uh, once uh, the next wave of reinforcements is going to come. And yes, it's not over yet. The mission is actually relatively hard. It was easier with um, with my um, first playthrough. Much easier. So let's see. Uh, this is the coat. So let's open the office and get access to Taylor's computer. Good. We're taking all of the research. There wasn't any like uh, super detailed um, storyline behind it. It's just a lot of uh, research and a few projects. Plus, we got ourselves some extra um, some extra data that we can sell on the black market. No, this was. 23,847. There we go. Good. Let's take all of uh, that information and a few of uh, the emails. And if I am not mistaken, we should actually be fine now. I was expecting that more security would arrive. Just wait a second. Gain access to the main lab. Hmm. Thought I did. Was there another floor that I have forgotten about? Oh yeah, this here was uh, the main lab. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and I think we could unlock it here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, unlock the main lab. There we go. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, that is going to be unfortunate. There is more to come. Luckily, we meet a few new Shadowrunners, the Jarl, Opti, Bull, and Dizzy. They uh, were all being sent 
uh, to get to do the exact same job uh, that we have done originally. Good, and now you can see that there are a few gas valves uh, that have opened, and that is exactly why we need the gas controls to actually close them. Good, spark light is moving to here. Kaichu is moving up here. And we gotta pick up uh, the stuff. Giving him haste so that he's a bit faster. And not very surprisingly, we're running into enemy forces. Time for us to activate our, our wild reflexes and go into control mode. We need drone power, a lot of drone power. And whilst we are at it, might as well hit them with uh, some spells. All right, so picking up the prototype. And I am not sure how to, how to open that. Hmm. Let me try to remember. Isabel definitely needs to check in. There we go. And we're going to see our first time where Isabel hacks something uh, whilst we're fighting. So, uh, it's a cool concept. I really appreciate it. Putting our sniper drone back here and enforcer drone. Let's kill the mage. The other runners are going to help us. It seems our Doberman might go down here. Good. Isabel moves in. And luckily for us, we already prepared the gas uh, valves. So now it's just a matter of like cruising. Killed everything here. I'm not 100% sure how to open these, to be honest. Might be missing something, I'm afraid. I was hoping that we could use the keypad here, but apparently that's not the case. Which means Gaichu can move down here. That's tragic, because that might have been some loot, and we definitely want to keep as much loot as possible. Good, we can still pacify. 
Let's use it on a Snake Iron Enforcer. And Isabel moves into cover. We got a heal guide too. The good part is uh, the neutral uh, shadow runners will now help us as well. Oh well, it's not guide too. It's Opti who took uh, quite a beating, but still we need their help. Can't just let them die. Isabel rushes back in hopes of um, yeah, finding a solution back there. And we are rushing in to kill these guys. That was a pretty nice hit. Good, moving in. Fortunately, we couldn't kill the enforcer. Holy shit, 29 crit flank, wow. That is rough, and we've just used our healing. Good. Um, let's move a tiny bit back. We cannot afford to get gunned down and the good part about taking one large hit is uh, you can matter of fact just heal that quite well because if we now heal Gaichu he will be uh, healed for 20 something damage Yeah, the ghost just broke loose. Oh, that is really unfortunate. We gotta fight against it now. Good, let's use our sniper drone. Don't want to charge in and don't want to stand near others because the ghost has an AoE attack. We're hasting Isabel. Not sure if she can actually open. Uh, these doors, but if anyone can, it's her. The AI seems to be a bit helpless here because they don't recognize the ghost as a real threat.
Good part is we could finally come back because healing is back up and we're being healed for 30 hit points, which is phenomenal. Finally, this here is not working out. We can't hack anything. Ah, that is so unfortunate. I'm pretty. I'm under the impression I um, I went into that room the last time. <laughs>